he is a, the, the son of a deacon and an evangelist. So I'm going to go back. I want to go to Ohio, and then I'm going to go to Japan okay. and Atlanta. Okay. Um, so I, I want to go back to Ohio because as the son of a deacon and an evangelist, you know, so many people struggle with a life in entertainment. Mm -hmm. And how did you reconcile that? It was, um, I mean, I, I have other layers too, you know, um, being a vice chair, being a gay man myself, that with all the other stuff, um, being being a, a child in the church, I didn't know how to reconcile a lot of that. So it was like I was young in a very judgmental time, yeah. and I didn't I didn't know. I was I was told so many times that my life was wrong for so many reasons, and I, I didn't know how to how to make all of that work, how to put it all together. I didn't know at that time. We were very cerebral now as a society, and at that time, people didn't think a lot about what people are doing out of fear. And so I didn't know terms like projection. I didn't know terms like gaslighting. I didn't know those things. And so I took what a lot of people's um, judgments were and I embodied them. And so, and I tried to fight through it. And I think the, the greatest thing for me, and I just love hearing you talk about that before you brought me on, is I, I, ha I found such a deep relationship with God. Mm. And it just, it was even, and I'll, I'll say this, and I'm not, not trying to get too deep about it, but I was never atheist, mm -hmm. but there was a season where I would say I was probably borderline agnostic because I just, I had lost so much faith in, oh. and if that makes sense, like yeah. I just, the, the church had hurt me so much yeah. that I just was done with it. I wasn't done with God, but I was done with the system of church. Yeah. And a lot of that happened when I moved to Japan. I moved to Japan and taught music over there for eight years. I know we'll get to that, I won't go too fast. But when I moved to Japan, it allowed me to put aside everything that the small town of Columbus, Ohio had, had kind of imparted into me and kind of indoctrinated into me. And so I had the chance to finally unplug from the system and just say, you know what? This is who God is to me. I, I, I worship God the way that I worship God. I see God the way that I see God. And it was a long journey. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But after so many years, and especially where I am today, and so many things that have happened since I've even been in New York, my my stakes in the ground for how strong I feel about my faith in God have have gone to a level that I never thought possible. I mean, I'm unshakable now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really glad that that not so much that I didn't let go of God, but that God didn't let go of me. Mm. That's been the, the most beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah.